Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a swatch comparison and a try on on my lips of all of my Velvet Trap lipsticks by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I just got these in the mail a few days ago whenever I posted my last video and I haven't got to put them on my actual lips but um, I did take the product shots and I have not played with them so this is going to be kind of like a first impressions of the Velvet Trap lipsticks and I'm gonna go ahead and say yes my face is super freaking glittery. I put the ColourPop frosting powder on and I used a, a beauty sponge to bake with it and it was super glittery and that was a bad idea but I'm only putting on makeup to film this video so I'm not going to take it off so you'll just have to deal with my shiny face because after all this video is about the lips. And with any Jeffree Star video that I do, this is about the makeup Jeffree Star Cosmetics. This is not about the person and I'm not going to share my opinions on him. This is all about this lipstick and what I think of it, nothing else. So if you're here to spread hate or leave a bad comment. Please get off of my channel. You're not welcome here. Thanks. Hope you have a good day. I bought six of the shades. There are 20 shades in this collection. I only bought six and I'm going to try those on for you and then compare the six that I got to other colors. I showed this in my last video, but in case you didn't watch it, this is the comparison. So the Velvet Trap is a little bit bigger as far as width and then the bottom is also a little bit thicker. And then the actual component is just the tie. Well, they might be the same height. I think they're about the same height. Yeah. Um, just this one's a little bit thicker. This one has a kind of snap on plastic clasp, whereas this one is magnetic. And this one has this velvet texture. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it because I film on my phone. And it has the Jeffree Star little stamps imprinted in it. It's not going to focus. And then this one, this is Celebrity Skin as the lip ammo. It's really dry and I've only worn this a few times. So they actually have about the same amount of product in them. Um, because I know for a fact I've only worn Celebrity Skin like three times. Um, the Velvet Trap actually might have a little bit more. Um, what are the grams on these? So this one is 3.3 grams. This one is 4 grams. So this one does have just a tiny bit more product in it. Let's start off with Naked Body. So he wasn't lying about one swipe coverage and for the record I don't have concealer or anything on my lips um, because I didn't want that to mess up the texture. I did see a lot of comments about these possibly being really drying because in all the product photos that you see people posting all the little lines on their lips show and I have exfoliated and been moisturizing my lips all day for this video so I'm a little concerned that there's so many cracks in my teeth or in my lips nice when you're smiling but when you're resting it's in all your little lips this is a beautiful nude my teeth look great this is naked body by the way these do feel a lot smoother than the lip ammos the limb lip ammos were really drying and i that's why i only had one of them um the other two i do own came in mystery boxes so the next shade we're going to do is Nudist Colony. This looks way more purple than it does on the lip swatches on his website and I'm a little disappointed in that. And my lighting is going to drown it out since I'm filming at night. But this is like a mauve. Like it's dark. <laughs> So right off the bat, I was hoping this would be like a nudie pink, kind of like Christmas cookie. And 
and it is definitely like a bright lavender like this is not wearable for me uh it does make my teeth look a little yellow this reminds me of like virginity virginity it's very pale it shows all the little lines on your lips Um, I don't like this color on me, um, and I can't wear this color to work, so I'm kind of disappointed in this one. This is Hot Commodity. This one did take a little bit more swipes. As you can see, one swipe, it's kind of patchy. down one of my lights to see if that helps and I think it did. I was hoping this would be like prom night from his collection and this is reminding me of like a magenta like the very first MAC lipstick I got which was I think it was called All About Town and I just don't like this color. It makes my teeth kind of yellow and it is not what I was expecting. Um, the formula is easier to apply than the lip ammo. And it's a nice feeling on your lips. You can't really feel it. Like it doesn't feel like I have lipstick on. Um, but I'll get into that later. You stain your lips. Um, and my lips are getting really dry as I take these off. Just because of that like velvet texture. So luckily I only have three left. So the next one is the perfect red. I feel like because this formula is so thick, it's a little bit harder to apply straight from the bullet. Which if I'm on the go, that's how I apply a lipstick. If I'm in my beauty room, I use a brush. So right off the bat, she is bright. She makes your teeth look good. Uh, I think she made my skin look better. Um, this one, the lines aren't as bad, I think. But I kind of love this. Oh my God. This up is an OG. This is Unicorn Blood. Right off the bat, I can tell you this does look different than the Vlora Liquid Lipstick. It's kind of la lacking the red. It's very brown and it's lighter. I actually need to rebuy Unicorn Blood because mine is kind of dried up a little bit. I always have to use Duraline to reapply it. So I don't hate this. And I'm actually kind of digging it with this very neutral like brown, like brown eyes. Sorry for the bad application. Last one is medieval kiss and i'm most excited for this one i was curious if this was going to be more black or more pur more purple So this is the darkest lipstick I own. It is a little bit patchy. Down here and in the inner part, which could have been my application. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. Okay, so I feel really bad saying this. 
I will have to do a wear test to figure out really if this is worth the money. But first impressions, I don't think this is worth the money. I am actually really sad I bought a six instead of the original three that I picked out. I could have lived without Medieval Kiss, could have lived without Hot Commodity, could have lived without Nudist Colony. Really the only one that blew me away was a Naked Body and the Perfect Red. And I needed a new Unicorn Blood because I think it's a staple and mine is dried out. But let's talk cost. So these are around, I think 18 to $20, which is around Jeffrey's price. I think they're 18. As far as packaging goes, he did this embossing, like the letters and this and the magnetic because he wanted it to look more sleeker and more high end. This looked really like, I don't want to say trashy, but it was not classy in my opinion. It looked cheap. It's just plastic and it was pink and it was a bullet. The bullet concept I loved and the overspray, like I haven't even worn mine more than three times and the star has already faded off of it. The only part you can see is the J's and the stars. This to me does not look any classier. And if he's trying to compete with like classier brands like Dior, Chanel, uh, Charlotte Tilbury, um, even things like NARS and uh, Fenty, like this is not it. Um, for example, this is a NARS lipstick I have. I think this was like $36 and it's matte black, but it has that same kind of embossing on the side where it says NARS in really tiny letters. Like, I don't even think you can see it. There's the N and it's magnetic. And this was my very first and is my only high-end lipstick and they are not cruelty free anymore they were cruelty free when I bought this. It says NARS stamped in it. And this is the color Bridget. And while this color is not like a good color for me, it's beautiful and I love wearing this out and about because it's magnetic. So if it comes off in my purse, it will clip back, which I'm glad he upgraded to magnetic packaging finally. Welcome to 2020. But this is not classy to me. You're, t you're when you're looking at other high-end brands like NARS, this packaging will win over this, in my opinion. It's the pink for me. I, I mean, I love pink, but this does not look classy to me. I do think it's heavier. It's way heavier than any of my other lipsticks. But even when you're looking at a drugstore range, for instance, this is Milani. I think this is around eight bucks or it was when I bought it. I love this gold packaging and it's just a simple tube lipstick and even just gold with Milani on it is simple. And then you look at ColourPop who has stars and you know the overspray or whatever it is that says ColourPop, the rose gold packaging and they did the stars on their lips. I don't know if ColourPop invented this, but ColourPop was the first brand that I saw that did the star imprint. And I know, for example, Lisa F. Eldridge, Eldridge, she's a um, beauty YouTuber that lives in the UK. She does a lot of like historic makeup tutorials and she's a professional makeup artist. I love her videos. I know she made her own beauty brand and came out with velvet lipsticks in 2019. I don't think she's the first one to do it because I think way back in the day, um, is it Lime Prime? Lime Prime did velvet lippies, like liquid lipsticks that were velvet textured. Um, I'm pretty sure it was Lime Prime. They did velvet lipsticks back then. So Jeffrey's not doing anything like revolutionary. He didn't create this formula, the etching of the stars in the lipstick has been done before. The velvet texture has been done before. The magnetic closure has been done before. The etching or embossing of the letters has been done before. Even the bullet shaped has been done before. But I think Jeffrey's is copyrighted. I do think Jeffrey has the best actual bullet shape compared to like Mac that doesn't really emphasize a bullet. I think Jeffrey wins on that part, but the packaging is just not it. And even the little box that it came in, I'm gonna show you. 
I'm in these like cardboard boxes that say velvet trap, the, the bear claw, and then it has like the expiration and all of that. And then it slides out and then the lipstick's in there. But even this with the embossing, it's a cute concept to slide out, but it's hard to get back in and it just looks really weird. Like when I pulled this out of the box, I was like WTF. This would look better if it closed all the way in and you didn't have this like inch or so hanging off. If this went into each other completely, it would look cooler, but then you'd have a harder time pulling it out. I just, I didn't like this and I didn't really like the packaging. As far as the cost, not worth it. I'm really sad that I spent all that money on these. Um, and then as far as cost, you can get way better drugstore lipsticks for the price. And if I was going to look for a high-end lipstick, I'd go for something a little bit more classy that I know has a better formula. I just didn't think this was it. And I have dry lips, so maybe that's my personal opinion. For bullet lipsticks, I don't really wear them anymore. I wear liquid lipsticks, but even just wearing one of Jeffree's liquid lipsticks dries my lips out for like days. And I can't wear any other lip products after that. To me, is this a step up from the lip ammos? Absolutely, the lip ammos sucked. Kind of like the first round of lip liners, it was not it. And I don't know what Jeffrey was thinking releasing that. Maybe it was a money grab, kind of like mini orgy. It wasn't ready to be in mass production. It wasn't ready to come out and he just didn't care. As far as these go, I don't, I really don't know. I don't know if I really don't think I like it, but I would have to do a wear test because it does feel very light. You don't feel anything on your lips, which is really nice. But how's it going to wear when I'm eating, when I'm drinking, when I'm, you know, sucking out of a straw? I just I don't know about that. The colors, they applied nice. They're a little patchy. I know a few people were saying um, the little unicorn that comes with it that the colors were off compared to that versus the website versus the actual lipstick. And I agree. Nudist Colony, wherever it went, is way more purple. Like I would have not bought this if I knew it was purple purple. And I hate that he doesn't like give us a fair warning he gives us like a week's warning hey i'm launching a new product friday and i'm like why do you always launch products in in between payday and we don't know about them we can't save thank god for after pay um so yeah final thoughts on the velvet trap lick sticks lip sticks packaging not it box packaging not it texture that's to be decided because I need to do a wear test to really decide that. But it does show every little line. Every little line. Um, so I'm not in love with that. Um, and I want to see how it wears to actually give you a final, final opinion. But I know I'm not the only person on the internet that thinks this. So yeah, if you bought one, let me know what colors you bought and what your opinion is um, down below in the comments. And I'm going to go forward with the video giving you swatches, um, comparing them to other liquid lipsticks, etc. Okay, so I'm going to take you off the stand and bring you down so you can see the swatches. Naked body first. Um, naked body. Mannequin. Naked... Uh, butt Naked from his Orgy Collection Vault. Then you have Nudist Colony. And then right next to it, I swatched the Velour Liquid Lipstick and Scandal. Next, you have Hot Commodity as the Velvet Trap. Prom Night. And then Jeffrey, what the... Next to that, um, they're kind of mixed together, is the Perfect Red, which was the Red Velvet Trap. Right next to that, you have Red Rum. And then, are you filming? Then you have unicorn blood and unicorn blood next to each other. And then, I do not have a purple, so we have medieval kiss. And then I tried to swatch androgyny and medusa. And medusa is like a dark gray and 
androgyny was like nowhere near it. So technically Medusa is the darkest color I own. But those are the swatches and I think the perfect red and red rum are dead on. I think prom night is a little bit brighter than hot commodity and Jeff um, Jeffrey what the is kind of similar like almost identical to prom night. Um, and I think Unicorn Blood and Unicorn Blood, the Velour Liquid Lipstick is right next to Medieval Kiss. And you can see it's a more red and darker. And Unicorn Blood in the Velvet Trap is more brown and lighter. And I noticed that this was a trend in a lot of them. Um, overall, I think that some of these colors I could have lived without. For instance, Hot Commodity or Nudist Colony. Um... I do love a good nude. Mannequin's my favorite, so I'm really excited that he made um, the naked body one because I didn't want to buy diet mannequin since he changed the color. But those are the swatches, and let me know in the comments what colors you bought and what your thoughts are on these lipsticks. you again for watching this video and I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this collection down in the comments. Let's have an active discussion without arguing or being hateful and if you like this please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks!